Did you like that picture? After a night of EMF meters going off, strange smells, and a slamming door. It was time to check out the findings into the possible haunting at the Leando Plantation. We met back up with Kelsey Vineyard and Brian Wiggins with the Aggieland Ghost Hunters to see just what else was found on the night of our hunt. Obviously a, a pretty uh, pretty interesting experience and I'd say an overall success for you guys. Yes, oh, yeah. definitely, definitely. We caught some great uh, EVPs, otherwise known as spirit voices. Uh, we've had a couple of fantastic uh, personal experiences as well. It was very neat stuff. Very, very exciting, very scary. Kelsey joined us on the ghost hunt and she was able to pick up a few EVPs. <laughs> One of them in a room that was used to quarantine Dr. Edmund Montgomery's son, Arthur, who later died of diphtheria. Me and Kelsey were in there by ourselves and just asking general questions. As Kelsey is talking, you hear what something says uh, higher. Can you make it go farther? Can you make another light come on? Yeah, you can. This was towards the end of our roughly 20 minutes we were there. Mm -hmm. And I'm about to say, you know, all right, this is your last chance to say something. We're about to leave. And you hear what sounds like a small child's playfully saying uh, no. It's your last chance for Dixon to, uh, to leave. And then there was the slamming door. Do you feel trapped in this house? The door slamming just really was, it was the take, took the cake, I guess, and all the evidence we could have collected. That was the one thing that we've never really had. We've caught voices, we've caught, you know, movement in the EVP meter, but we've never had something just slam. We've never caught something physically happen to us, like a door slamming. That just hasn't happened before. Uh, so yeah, definitely that's very compelling. Uh, it ranks right up at the top. The hunt for more paranormal evidence will continue for the Aggieland ghost hunters, and despite an inexplicable slamming door, Brian remains hesitant in his belief of the beyond. I myself am still a skeptic to this day, but uh, the more and more that I do this, the more and more I'm starting to believe. In the here and now, in College Station, Shane McAuliffe, News 3.